we just threw some MREs and some stuff, you know, in the camp stove in the pickup truck, and we came out here to the Pine Barrens just to, you know, have lunch. And we weren't out here 10 minutes. We, we pulled in, we went over to Crowley's Landing, there was a bunch of people over there, and we figured uh, we'd come over here, there's less people over here, and there's, you know, uh, grills and stuff out here, but, you know, you're not allowed to really camp out here. But we're here five minutes. We got out of the truck. We start putting stuff on the picnic table. And a park ranger comes in. And he's like, you're not camping, are you? And I said, no. He's like, you're just here to have lunch? We're like, yeah, we're just going to cook some lunch. He said, okay, but there, there's no camping. And I'm like, why is that? And he's like, well, because of COVID, you can't camp. And I'm like, well, that makes no sense. I said, this has been over a year. Everything's been, I mean, this is, what, March? March? 13th or 14th 2021 everything's everything's pretty much open yeah. I'm like you can go into Walmart in the liquor store and pack in with hundreds of people but you can't camp out here by yourself or with another family member you can't do that it makes no sense I thought we were going to get a ticket but he was pretty nice so he left he's like just make sure nobody's no tents you can't spend the night out here by yourself so we're just, you know, making some lunch. And we're making some MREs, and I'll show you some of that. I think the MRE heaters are old. I, think, I don't know how old these things are. They've been in the garage. The temperature's below freezing and above 90 degrees in there. So I'm not sure even if they're any good. So we'll see how it goes, and uh, I'll get back into the video about other stuff, too, that I want to talk about. This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today we're going to make some army grade MREs. This is menu 20 spaghetti with beef and sauce. Okay, spaghetti with beef and sauce. Not sure how old these are. I'm going to have to look this up on the website. They got like a calculator that calculates Put the number in there and it'll tell you the year. There's a way to figure it out, but I forget. So this goes in here. Alright, so what we want to do is open this, tear the top off. Open this bad boy up. Now I'm gonna fill it to the lines. Now we're gonna take the MRE. MRE in here. Now we're going to fold this over and then put it I'm not supposed to put it back in the box but the box is a little smashed up. Okay, and then you leave this sit on an angle for like 10 to 15 minutes and we'll try. see what we got. Menu 17, of course I'm like right to the shade. Pork sausage with gravy. Okay, here we got pork sausage and creamy gravy. And can you see the date code on there? I don't know if that's, I can't see it. So now we're going to open the pork, pork sausage box. 
do it carefully without cutting your, uh, your wheel. It's not blowing up, so it might be all right. And we'll put tear this open. Water. Let that go for 10 to 15 minutes. And of course, I wasn't keeping track of the other one. All right, so the MREs have been sitting in here for like a half an hour. And one's starting to just get warm, barely. The other one, cold as hell. So I'm gonna put them in some hot water and we'll see, we'll take it from there. All right, so I looked up the, on the MREs, the codes, I looked them up and they are from I forget what month, but they're both 2011. So they're 10 years old. The, uh, the heaters, they didn't work at all. And uh, I was going to, I had trays, I was putting all the stuff that came with it out. But we tried one of the breads and it wasn't that good. We really don't want to eat everything that's in it. So some of the stuff we don't like anyway. But we're just going to put them in a Ziploc bag because they're still sealed. They're still good, and we'll put them for the shit hits the fan uh, box. So if somebody comes over and they're desperate for food, here you go. I got some nice food for you. And the food should be ready, and I'm going to put it on a plate, and we'll try it. All right. Oh, he's hot. So this is the first one. This is spaghetti with beef. Ooh. Need that spoon. Looks good. Smells good. Ow! It's hot. Trash. Spaghetti and beef. Smells like Chef Bouillardie. <laughs> All right, what do we got in this one? Ow. Pork sausage and cream gravy. Mm. Smells good. Kind of looks like shit on a shingle, don't it? Lights hitting it right, but so we're gonna give these a try. Spoon. tastes good. Not bad. How's that one? Want to try this one? Let me try a bite of this one. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I wanted to talk today about being overwhelmed with prepping and everything that's going on and we, uh, I watched a video the other day of another prep prepper in the homestead, and he was talking about, you know, being burned out. You know, not him, but everybody else getting burned out. And we're at that point, too. Uh, 
moved out in the middle of nowhere and evidently we didn't move out far enough but we have nice property the house is about the right size could be bigger We've got a nice garage but there's a lot more people around than we thought uh, and the taxes have gone up everything's going up you know everything goes up but now it's getting more and more expensive and we want to prep and put so much money away you know or towards prepping but something else pops up, the taxes go up, or the truck breaks down, or whatever. You know, you, the refrigerator goes, you gotta get a refrigerator. Then the washer breaks, or whatever. So we never seemed to get ahead. So we were thought, thinking about moving to West Virginia, and then Missouri, uh, just a lot of different places. We were looking for property. But with all the stuff going on, you know, if we moved out there in the middle of nowhere, I mean, we want to move away. We want to be like three hours away from town. That's good and bad. You know, if, some, if shit hits the fan, you move out there and six weeks later or a month later or a year, you're by yourself. You know, I mean, we're older, we're retired. It's semi-retired. If shit hits the fan, you're so far away from friends and family, you're, you're by yourself. So... We don't have enough equity into the house to sell it the way the market is and stuff. So if we sold the house, we wouldn't have any money for a deposit down down payment on another house or property. It's still something we're thinking about. But right now, we're just going to have to stick it out where we're at and do what we can. But, you know, we had an uh, idea with the garden. I watched videos on greenhouses. And some people tell me you don't need a greenhouse. Other people say you need a greenhouse. The bigger, the better. Now, uh, the greenhouse is great for a month or two while you're planting stuff, and once you put it out, it, it, sit, it's, it takes up a lot of room. Uh, we have to get new plastic for it because they didn't have the UV coating. It wasn't the right stuff. It was just big plastic sheeting. So we got to redo that. The garden didn't produce like we thought it would last year. And a couple people I know, you know, they got big gardens. I'm like, well, we don't need anything that big. Yeah, yeah, you do. So... We're going to be working on the garden little by little. I mean, the weather's breaking. I mean, yesterday was like 72. Today is 69, but I think. Tonight's supposed to get cold the next couple of days, and then next week to talk about snow again. But I think now's the time to get out. we got to start working on the garden. We've got to rototill the inside. We're going to plant stuff inside, stuff outside. Uh, we're going to try and find a way to expand the outside because we need to make... We need to grow four times as much as we did last year. So, some people I see, they got these giant 50 by 100 foot, you know, and they're growing stuff, and it's not fenced in. We got problems with rabbits, with deer, with the pigs, the chickens, everything gets into our garden. So we had to fence it in. And, you know, there's no way I can afford to fence in 50 by 100. So I don't know what we're going to do with that. But... We've been just getting overwhelmed and things have been breaking, things have been going wrong. I got problems with the rear in my truck and the air conditioning took a shit. I didn't care about it because it was cold and yesterday it was almost, it felt like it was 80. I had no air in the truck. But, you know, you got to learn to do with that. You know, shit hits the fan, you might not have a truck and be riding a bicycle. But now the rear is leaking, I got axle seal leaking, so that's got to go in the shop. But, you know, the ambulance, that needs work. You know, I take well for a bug out vehicle. You know, do, do I throw all the money into the ambulance? Some stuff I, I can't do with my back anymore. So I'm trying to find somebody to work on it cheap. And but then you, know, you got to take it there. Do you trust these people to leave something like that overnight or for a week? So we need stuff that needs to be fixed. We need to get more stuff for the garden. And everything is going up. And I don't think things are going to get any better. With the prices going up, gas is almost three bucks a gallon. Uh, I just saw it like 301 or 302 the other day. That's crazy. So, you're not going to be cutting the grass as much as I used to. I might have to go out there with a, you know, a sickle or something. I'm out in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden... Ooh. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but I'm right by the, the main road. Uh, my wife's over there by the campsite where we're cooking we made some MREs that's what we were doing we 
we're home all the time and when we go out we can't we go grocery shopping as little as possible we get as much as we can but you know we run out and we go to the store it's just we hate being around people we hate going to the store with all this stuff and the mask wearing and you know we came out here cooking MREs and I'll put the, the, the clip in here the clips but we just needed a break and we needed you know we're we need to do this. We need to get in the garden. We've got to fix the garage. We've got to fix the truck. We've got to do this. Got, it's like, where do you start? We need to take a break. You need to take a break. If you're getting overwhelmed and burnt out, take a break. You know, go out. Enjoy, depending on where you're at, enjoy the sunshine. It's gorgeous out here today. It's a nice blue sky with exception for the chemtrails everywhere they're spreading out everywhere like milk uh it's gorgeous out here and we love being out here so we just came out here you needed to go out go outside take a break go for a ride go to a park go wherever you feel comfortable to relax um, we got to go back and feed the pig and let the pig out and all that stuff but we need, just needed to get out. Ooh, this branch is going to fall. So I don't know if you can hear me now. The wind's picking up. But this is uh, what I just wanted to put out there for everybody to, if you're feeling overwhelmed, uh, just relax. Take a deep breath. And just do what you can here and there. Just relax. But things are going to get worse, my opinion. Uh, my wife helps take care of an older man during it during the night or early mornings and he's 90 and his son last week or whenever it was got him his first covid shot and he got sick and i don't know why anybody at that age i don't know why anybody would take the shot anyway but he didn't do real good and two days ago they sent him in for his second shot and they didn't think he was going to make it through the night so he made it. He, he's not doing real well at all. He's not eating. He's not drinking. He's 90. I don't know why you would take the shot at 90 anyway, but that's another video or another subject, another topic. But I don't see things getting better anytime soon. So, so we're going to start cutting down on certain things when we go shopping, like paper plates, paper towels, napkins. We're going to, if shit hits the fan, we're not going to be able to have that stuff anyway. We're going to run out. The stuff, it's way too expensive to begin with. Even when you go to BJ's and you're buying in bulk, this shit's expensive as hell. So, we go through crap. We go through trash like crazy. <coughs> so, we're going to start cutting down on things and start living like, start preparing for shit hits the fan. Uh, just start cutting down and just buy the necessities and start running to do without certain things to help save money. Um, that's what I got for now in this video. I just wanted to, we just wanted to get out for the day, uh, for a couple hours anyway, have a quick lunch, a uh, quick MRE, wasn't that good. Uh, we brought, we, I was going to make coffee, but we brought some coffee with us. And I just wanted to make a video and share it with you and help you get, teach you how to relax. Because I was getting burned out. I was getting all angry. You know, every time something happens at the house, I'm blowing up the people and, ah, oh, we're doing this and no, we're throwing this away. Just gotta relax. So this is Pony Prepper Bill and everybody relax, take a break. Go out, enjoy the day, depending on where you are. Or just relax, stop everything and watch a movie, watch your favorite movie, make some popcorn. Or, you know, if you got a boat, go out on your boat, take your quan out. If you like the beach, go to the beach, climb the mountain or the summit or whatever you do, or take your dog for a walk. And uh, We'll just keep prepping and preparing and see what happens in the next couple days, next couple weeks, next couple months. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.